All right, you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Matt from Real Rideshare. And um, today I've got a video for you. I've got 10 things that you shouldn't do because these 10 things could potentially impact your tips and ratings. So before I get started, if you have not already subscribed, please go ahead and do that. And do me a favor and give this video a big thumbs up if any of these tips here that I'm gonna give you, um, you find helpful. All right, let's get started. All right, you guys, so number one, number one thing that can definitely impact your tips and your ratings is um, don't be creepy. Don't, um, if you're a male driver, don't give out those unwanted um, compliments, questions, are you single, etc. It's just not a good idea. Don't be creepy. It will definitely impact your ratings. It will definitely impact your tips and could result in a complaint. So uh, don't be creepy. All you creeps out there, you know who you are. Don't do it. All right. Moving on, offensive music. So this one kind of speaks for itself. Uh, we all know what offensive could be. Uh, try to keep it neutral. Try to, um, if you need to, bounce back and forth. You know, we're in our cars a lot. We're doing, um, we're driving a lot. So if you don't have a passenger in your car, which hopefully that's not very often, but we all know it does happen, and um, you can switch your music to something maybe that you want to listen to. And then when the passenger is getting in your car, switch it to something a little bit more neutral. All right, music. All right, so, so moving on. Don't ask for ratings. Don't ask for a good rating. It's a little desperate. It's a little awkward. Just let your driving, let your... Um, your ability to be polite, courteous, friendly. Let those things speak for themselves and just earn your ratings. I think asking for a rating, and I've heard that there are some drivers who actually have signs kind of on the, on the backs of their seats asking for ratings. It's, it's, it's just a little desperate. Um, just let, let your actions kind of speak for themselves. Just earn the ratings and uh, hopefully they, they'll come your way. All right, so smells. Let's talk about smells for a minute. And we can go so many places with this, this topic, but I'll keep it simple. You don't want to, to have any sort of, of bad smells, number one. Number two, just anything overbearing. So I think smoke is probably one of the worst smells out there, cigarette smoke. Definitely don't smoke in your car if you're a smoker. Uh, and even if you step outside, you know, between passengers and, and, and have your cigarette break, cigarette smoke, I've found from just people that I know who smoke, it kind of lingers. It lingers on your clothes. It lingers on your breath. You can spray an air freshener in your car to help, but cigarette smoke is just very powerful. It's very overbearing and um, it's a little tricky. So. If you're a smoker, you're a smoker, and I know that smokers are, you know, they tend to be pretty serious about their smoking, and they, they need to have their cigarette break, and fine. Uh, I'm not judging. I'm just saying it could potentially impact your ratings or your tips. So just be careful with it. Um, all right, forcing conversation. What you want to do is just kind of try to read your passenger. If they've got their headphones in, they're, they're making it pretty obvious that they're listening to their own music, they're listening to their own podcast, whatever they might be doing. Let them do it. Don't force it. Just give them a nice, comfortable ride. <clears throat> All right. Taking phone calls. Bad idea. Um, you don't want to give the perception that you are focused on anything but giving a safe, a safe, um, nice ride for your passenger. Don't give the perception. And talking on your phone, texting, anything like that, 
is definitely going to give the perception. So you may be able to, in a safe manner, respond to a text or whatever the case might be, but it's just not a good idea. It's perception. Don't let, uh, don't let your passenger feel like you're doing anything or focused on anything <clears throat> except driving safely. All right. So kind of what I talked about, about asking for ratings, don't ask for tips. And here's what I mean by that. Don't be weird. Don't be awkward. Don't say things like, I'm feeling really good today. I just got a tip from my last passenger. Something like that. Something of that nature. It's awkward. It's weird. It's a little desperate. Again, earn your tip. If, if the person is just not a tipper, they're just not a tipper. It is what it is, but some people are tippers. Some people will tip. So earn that tip and you'll get it. All right. Don't start a trip early. It can be a little tempting and it can even happen by accident. It's just a matter of hitting the button. So again, perception, what it does and how it impacts tips and ratings, especially tips is it gives the perception that you're trying to squeeze out just a little extra money. Passengers don't realize it's really not much money. It's not worth it. It's not doing anything. Um, but <clears throat> there is a perception there. And if they were potentially going to tip, there's a really good chance they won't now because they're thinking, uh, they already squeezed me for a little extra money. I'll just consider that their tip. So just don't do that. Um, try your best not to do it. Try not to hit it by accident. And if you do hit it by accident, maybe explain to them when they do get to the car, hey, I accidentally hit this button, whatever, you know, something like that. So politics. Politics, politics are a no-no. Um, I think everybody knows that by now. I probably shouldn't even have put that in my, on my list. Um, but politics are a no-no. If you disagree with somebody's politics, you, it, it's, pretty much a guarantee um a guaranteed no tip and low rating um yeah it's just one of those topics people are very passionate about their politics stay away from politics all right finally last thing um don't dress like you just rolled out of bed i'm not saying dress up i'm just saying clean clothes um not wrinkled not dirty you know, I generally, I would say 99% of the time, wear a pair of jeans and a collared athletic shirt, like a Nike shirt, something like that. Um, so by far not, you know, what I would consider professional, like in the business world, but in the rideshare world, a pair of jeans, a pair of pants, an athletic shirt, even a t-shirt that's clean, not wrinkled, doesn't look like you just pulled it out, out of the hamper. Even a t-shirt can be fine. Um, just use common sense. Keep it clean. Just don't look like you just rolled out of bed. Um, pretend you care. All right. So 10 ways, 10 things not to do to um, help improve your tips and your ratings. And um, thanks for stopping by on this video. I really do appreciate it. Um, most importantly, be safe out there. Take care and uh, we'll see you next time. All right. Thanks.